Here's some PETG in red. This is uh, MG Chemicals. I haven't had the best of luck printing with this stuff, but their PLA works pretty nice. So I thought I'd use it up on uh, this kind of water bath I'm making for being able to drill a hole in a piece of glass. So it'll just be a jig that goes on a CNC router and then it holds a bunch of water and keeps the, the bit cool. And hopefully the glass won't crack. Hopefully it's watertight. It's just laid down its you know first top layer over the infill. It'd be really nice if one of the slicer companies could make it so it used the uh, bridge settings when it does that first layer, but I haven't seen that in, uh, in anything yet. But I do use Simplify 3D, which is pretty archaic by now, but it works, so I keep using it. Um, also, I should say I'm printing on a, a 0.8 nozzle, so 0.96 width. And I'm thinking I'm printing at a 0.3 layer height. So it's lots of filament cruising out of there. Not breaking any speed records or anything, but it's doing a good job printing on uh, glass with just a bit of glue stick. I, uh, I like this kind of glue stick. It came with a Dremel printer that um, I have for work, so I just started using it and it works really good. I haven't had any problems. It makes a nice, uh, nice and easy to remove the print um, if it gets stuck on there. You just run, take the plate off and run it under some water and it helps dissolve the glue and let the PETG let go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Second layer is looking pretty good going down on top. I also added a nice cool blue uh, cooling fan because the factory one stopped working. <laughs>